Effect of High MGO on Cement Kiln Operation In this opportunity, we will explain about the effect of high MGO on clinker formation and kiln operation. There are many articles from experts to analyze the effect of MGO on the cement production process in the kiln and its effect on cement quality. MGO in an appropriate amount, 2 to 3.5%, can increase the raw meal's flammability, increase the absorption of free lime and the formation of C3S. However, if the MGO content is more than 3.5%, it can reduce the burning power of the raw meal and increasing the free lime content in the clinker. Before we continue this discussion, if you like this video, please subscribe first, so you can benefit from this video. Alright, let's continue this discussion. In this video we will only explain what happens to the clinker production process in the kiln system. This is one example of the case in the kiln operation that has ever happened. Kiln with a production capacity of 5,500 tons per day, kiln diameter of 5 meters and during operation a coating thickness of greater than 50 centimeters and a length of 23 meters is formed. Then the kiln stopped operating because the kiln diameter narrowed and production capacity decreased. This is a video that shows the work of cleaning the coating using a rock drill. There is still a flame from inside the coating, meaning that there is incomplete fuel burning while the kiln is still operating. This is possible during operation the fuel consumption in the main burner is excessive, because the operator sees high free lime above the target. This is the quality data during kiln operation before the kiln was stopped. These data indicate that, there is a correlation between the content of MGO, C3S, and free lime. When MGO is high greater than 4%, C3S is high greater than 62%, but free lime is still within the standard range. This confirms the experiments conducted by experts, that the MGO content of more than 3.5% can reduce the burning power of raw meal and increase the free lime content in the clinker. Because in general what is controlled by the kiln operator is free lime. When getting a high free lime report, the operator immediately takes action by adding fuel or reducing kiln feed. In addition, it is evident that when MGO is reduced to close to 3.5%, C3S is also reduced to close to the 62% target. We can conclude that if the MGO content is greater than 4%, and it lasts for several days like these data, it can cause the formation of a thick coating in the kiln and cause the kiln to stop. That was the explanation about the kiln stop incident, caused by the super thick coating, based on our experience in the field.
Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it's useful, and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and share it with your friends who need it. See you in the next video.